really quickly about the thing you saw in the intro. I do realize that my sets are most often, um, I quote, hot garbage. Um, because they are. They are. Um, new meta, in my term, is definitely something that is pretty bad and uh, doesn't see any play in the meta. However, it is very interesting to see, you know, a weaker meme team defeat a actual meta team. And if you can make the meme work, then it's way more rewarding, at least in my opinion. Of course, you can have a different opinion um, to something like just clicking Dracovish Fish's rent and seeing, you know, everything die and being like, yeah, I'm, I'm winning. I mean, sure, you are, but new meta is more of like the road to winning instead of just winning. So the chase is much better than the catch in my case. Now let's jump right into the team. And as you can see, probably right now, hold up. Hold on. Belly drum choice band? Belly drum choice band. What are you talking about, man? And yes, indeed, we have belly drum choice band, and you will see in a second why. Um, this Azumarill set is probably even better in Nat Dex, because Nat Dex allows um, Dynamax, and you can replace uh, Ice Punch with Bounce to get max airstream. But since we're going Gen 8 OU, um, we cannot do that, and it's much better to have Ice Punch right here. But anyhow, yes, we do have Belly Drum Choice Band because our Mew has the move Magic Room. And what Magic Room is, is for 5 turns, all health items have no effect. And then also going for Infestation to slowly drain their health and going for Roost and stuff like that. This might as well could be Will-O-Wisp, but it's fine with Charm, at least for now. Then if you Magic Room and like leave it at a one more turn, you can go into the Azumarill and a Belly Drum, because the Choice Band doesn't activate yet. And um, then, you know, you have a Choice Band plus six Aqua Jet, basically decimating everything that doesn't resist and doesn't have a Sash. And for that, we have um, our Shuckle with Stealth Rock and Sticky Web and Toxic and Core. Mental Herb, uh, so we are not taunted at least once, mm, so we can at least set one of those. But anyhow, of course, um, Azumarill is resisted by grass and other water Pokemon and dragons and stuff like that. So we have these three Pokemon, and for these three Pokemon you could choose whatever you want, to be honest. This is the core, these three Pokemon are the core of this team, new meta team. Uh, but these three are definitely uh, choices. Um, this is covering for Ferrothorn, Rylaboom, and stuff like that. This is covering for Dragapult and um, Kingdra. Or actually, it's not really that much of a coverage for Kingdra, but still does some damage to it. And then Zero Aura for other water types, very bulky water types. Dracovish is gone from Gen 8 OU, and that's primarily why I chose this format. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go do it, and I'll see you when I do it. And here we are. Let's click the connect button. Or battle rather and let's see if we can actually find someone to battle and okay never mind all right we have another battle and super sadly there's a vaporeon which has water absorb if we can set up the sticky web then we might be okay and this is a volcarona which i'm just gonna toxic real quick and then i'm gonna encore it and then i'm gonna encore it hopefully it goes for a one more yep and then um enjoy the dance we're gonna stealth rock this is exactly why I have Encore on the Shuckle, because this is pretty um, common scenario. When someone sees a Shuckle, they will know, they will be like, yeah, okay. Let's go for the Sticky Web. I know this has the Fog, but that's fine. It also goes for the Iron Head. I'm gonna go for the... This may be the Pokemon I wanna... No, because it has Mirror Armor. I cannot charm it. That happens. However, let's try the Mew now. Let's try it. Goes for Earthquake. Oh my god, of course he gets a crit. All right, let's go back to Shuckle then. Oh, he goes to Vaporeon, that's great. If we hit this Toxic, of course. We do hit this Toxic. Okay. He goes for Scald, right? No, he goes for Flip Turn. Oh, he can Flip Turn when I Infestation him? Problem again. I'm gonna Roost here, I think I'm faster. This shouldn't be, like, super fast. Yeah, I'm not fast. Goes for Iron Head. Doesn't do too much. Okay, so if we want to Azumarill here, yep. This was suboptimal, but uh, you know, too bad. You can even go this. I don't mind. Mold Breaker and Plasma Fist do some damage, and then we follow it up with a Play Rough. Hopefully, we hit, do hit, and we do kill it. All right. I'm. I think I'm gonna win this game, but the problem is that we didn't 
get to see the gimmicks. I'm gonna play... Okay, so basically this battle is gonna show you that the team is decent. So the team is decent on its own. And a nice protect. Yeah, very, very, very useful. But now uh, with this win, I'm gonna, you know, search for a battle where I actually get this off. And once I get this off, then we will be in town, my friends. Detect. Yeah, nice. Uh, that's very useful. <laughs> Dude goes for detect and then goes for protect. And he still, yeah, like, why? Why do you do this? Why? Okay, and now we act. Okay, so now we have huge power, choice band. N plus sick thing. Oh my god, he'll, is he gonna toxic me too? He's not, right? He's scared of this. Oh, is, he is gonna toxic me, right? Jesus Christ, what? Solar beam? Choice scarf, so, choice scarf solar beam without any sort of sun setup. He should realize that I kill him. People are... <laughs> people really don't wanna play optimally, do they? And I am finally live with my set. Finally, I am live. And this has Baneful Bunker, it's also defensive. I think, yeah, let's see how much we do. I just want to see how much we do. 48 damage to a defensive. Ah, yes, the, ah, of course. This is even more fun. Actually, don't, don't, what I said is actually not true. This is even more fun. Yep, <laughs> fuck this shit. I just need one team which doesn't have fucking protect, toxic, roar, haze, stealth rocks. Take you web? Disarming voice. Oh, okay, so is this is this the theme? So Primarina doesn't really uh, hurt us as much. And we get it. And he goes for Hydro Pump and misses. That's very good. We go for Magic Room. Okay. Can actually switch up the moves, which is not optimal for us. Well, we have to burn this Primarina then. Oh, he went for Rest. Hold up, this is rest? Okay, okay, so is this sleep talk too? It is. And it's probably gonna hit me with that sleep talk moon blast exactly when I need when he eats it, sorry. And of course he goes for moon blast. Oh he misses hydro pump, this is great. Let's belly drum. Let's belly drum. Let's not get hit by moon blast here. Rest. Okay, good. This could be it guys, this could be it. Let's see. Okay, 89, he goes for a sleep talk and he lands a rest. Bronzong. We kill it. But it's Rocky Helm. That's fine. That's fine. That shouldn't be a problem. Noivern should die. Toxtricity should die. Wigglytuff should die. And bass guitarist should die as well. Good. It's another kill. Come on, come on, come on. Don't do it. Also, why is this drummer? The drummer should be Rillaboom. It literally has a drum. Finally work. It only took me legitimately an hour of my time to pull off this 6-0 sweep with this. This is just... I mean, thank you so much, Je uh, Genevieve Scarlet. Sorry. But yeah, um, we finally did it. It finally happened. GG to you, Genevieve. While I was recording and then editing my video, Dr. Oktoberfest, who I mentioned in the intro, actually also got this sweep incoming on this team, although this is National Dex AG instead of Gen 8 OU. But nonetheless, it's supposed to be a funny battle, so let's see. There's a scissor on the opposite side, goes for a mega, goes for bullet punch straight up. Not even swords dancing or bulking up. That's kind of funny, but anyway. There is the sticky whip and the stealth rocks and the shuckle did its job. It can go, rest in peace. Now here comes the Mew. Pretty uh, risky because we know there is U-turns and stuff like that, but actually he has bug buzz. So the charm doesn't really do as much as we would hope for, but it still does a lot. So yeah, there is a hidden power coming. <laughs> hidden power coming from the uh, scissor and then there is the incineroar and the incineroar will get a charm to the face and it does. And then infestation happens, and he goes for a Z malicious moon salt. But thanks to the charm, actually, Mew survives it and is able to go for a roost. So never underestimate a roost. Sorry, a charm <laughs> and a roost actually. So a, a first turn paralysis from the body slam uh, actually gets synchronized to the incineroar. We get the magic room on backup, and the charm happens yet again because we need to hit for turn two of the magic room. We don't care about anything else. He goes for Derkus Lariat and does really no damage here. And now turn two comes and he goes for Darkest Lariat, does no damage. 
of course, uh, we know that Aqua Jet sweeps, but here it is, last turn of the Magic Room. Here comes the big baddie Belly Drum, and our attack gets maxed. And basically this Waylord, even though it resists, it just dies. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can figure out what happens from here. This is dead. This? Well, my friend, due to the sticky web, your bullet punch is not faster, and you're dead. Well, this just dies on entry. Goodbye, Incineroar. Here's Zygarde. Zygarde does have extreme speed, which is probably something to look out for, and it goes for it, but it doesn't kill Azumarill, funnily enough, and Zygarde dies. And Regirock is the last Pokemon on the menu for the hungry little kinder surprise, and it devours the Regirock, so as you can see, Dr. Oktoberfest also managed to get a win. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Uh, do not try this at home <laughs> unless you want to suffer. If you do want to suffer and try it and get a win with it, then uh, please let me know because this is very funny to pull off but very hard to do it too. So if you do it, you're pretty much a god. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.